What's up everyone? I am back with another tutorial video. Now this one is going to be on like vocal chops and vocal slides because you guys asked for that a lot. And um, I did like a Facebook post and that was like one of the most common comments. So yeah, let's just do that. I'm gonna show you like three different ways of doing it and hopefully it's simple and you can keep up. So yeah, let's just get straight into this one. All right, so I'll just show you three simple ways of vocal chops, vocal sampling, whatever. Um, this first one here is like, just get an acapella, any acapella really. The better the quality, usually the better. Um, this one, I have the Calvin Harris one. I need your love, I need your time. And then just go through and find a point that you reckon might sound cool. Like there. Um, I might just chuck some effects on quickly. Just EQ it, cut the lows. Maybe a little bit of overdrive. And then um, some reverb just for now, just quickly. So yeah, it's already kind of a cool sound there. But yeah, now a couple of little things in sampler that I reckon are cool are uh, here the pitch envelope. If you change this amount down and then play with the decay time. Gives it like that little dip before the note, which is kind of cool if you like it. Or you can do the opposite, put the amount up a bit higher. And gives it like a pluck. Gives it like a pluck sort of sound, so if that's what the sound you're going for, then that's cool. Um, and then another thing I uh, took me a while to sort of work out is where the pitch bend range was in Sampler, and it's just here on the MIDI tab, in case you didn't know that one. But yeah, it took me ages to work that out, so... That's where that is, and that helps for like your build up and stuff. And then, now the next way is pretty much identical to that, but instead of using an acapella, just use like a, sen a vocal shot from like a vengeance pack or something. For instance, I'm using that one. Now if I chuck on the same effects. It's pretty cool. And then, yeah, once again, you can just play around with the pitch envelope. Which is pretty cool. And then it's just a matter of like playing around with the amount of overdrive or... Your EQs and stuff, until you get a sound that you like, really. So yeah, those two are like the, more the, the sampler um, ways of doing it, using, you know, midis and all that sort of thing. And then another way of doing it is just sort of chopping up audio. So here's an example of one I did in a, in a remix. <laughs> Now the key to this really is just like finding the right the right little bits in like an a cappella. Wait, if I unwarp this. My love was not and then just grab parts and like put them next to each other. But the um like another major important part is to make sure they're all in key. And then you don't really want two of the same in a row. I don't know. I'll just chuck something else in there. And then, yeah, even that sounded kind of cool if I cut that out. I don't know. It's not very good, but... Well, yeah, this one over here is better. <laughs> Hopefully eventually you can get it to sound. Yeah, if you just find the right little notes. Make sure it's all in key and stuff. That's sort of how you chop up audio and you can do that with like any acapella really. So yeah, that's sort of three pretty basic ways of doing vocal sampling, but I know I've like a lot of artists can take this and go very far, like people like Dioro and Skrillex and stuff. They, they sample vocals a lot, but they can make it sound absolutely unreal. So if you know the basics, I reckon if you just play around with it a bit, you never know you could come up with some crazy original unique sounds so yeah that's another tutorial finished by me hope you guys liked it see you in the next one uh -huh.